holy commandments? Do you know God's commandments? One of us, I shall not lie. How many people lie? If you lie, you're a liar before God. How many people stole? If you're still in your feet before God, it only takes one time to lie and one time to still to be a thief or a liar. Jesus said if you look upon a woman in lust, you commit adultery in your heart. How many people commit adultery in your heart? Looking at porno, cheating on their wife. You need to repent. Jesus even said if you hate somebody, you commit murder in your heart. How many people hate somebody or just backstab your neighbor today? Or park behind somebody's back today? You're committing murder in your heart. How many people are getting drunk today? You're a drunkard. If you're getting drunk, you're a drunkard before God. How many people are praising things? Praising rock and roll, praising NASCAR, lifting them up like a god. And that's what you just sit out. Dress up for it. You put face paint on for it. You wear the NASCAR socks, the NASCAR underwear, the NASCAR hat, the NASCAR hoodie. You make it into a god. The thing is, if you continue in your sin and you die as an idol worshiper, a liar, a thief, a murderer in heart, a adulterer in heart, and you still before a holy God right now, would you be innocent or guilty right now? You'll be found guilty before a holy, righteous God. And where does liars, thieves, and adulterers, homosexuals, drunkards, and sodomites, and abortionists go? And they break God's law and they die right now. There's a place called hell, the lake of fire. Hell is real. Hell is so real. But praise God that God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for your sin. To set you free. That's what He did. That's the love of God. And you can be free today if you're willing to repent and put your trust in Jesus. Jesus set you free. He can rescue you. Jesus Christ can save you from hell. And you don't have to die in hell. I don't want you to die in hell. That's why I come here to love my neighbor. Oh, I love my neighbor. That I don't want to see you perish in hell. I don't want to see you perish in a place called a lake of fire. Repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to the love of God before it's too late. Oh, the love of God is what Jesus Christ did at the cross. A lot of people don't want the love of God. They want the love of money, the love of sex, drugs, alcohol, workaholics, love of drugs. That's what people want. But the love of the world will kill you, just like cancer kills your inside. The love of the world will kill you. You need the love of God. The way to receive God's love is by repenting and putting your trust in Jesus Christ and let Him change your life. You realize you broke all his law, that you broke all his commandments. You need to repent and turn to Jesus Christ so you can save your soul from hell. Oh, I don't want you to go to hell. I'll make a roadblock to warn you. Stop going around me, over me, under me. Stop going around me and repent and turn back around and go back to Jesus Christ and be set free. You need to turn back to God to be saved of your sin. Only Jesus Christ can save you from your unrighteousness, from your vileness, from your drunkenness, from your fornication, from your homosexuality. Yeah. Only Jesus Christ can set you free if you want to repent and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Some people are like, why are you preaching against homosexuality? What did God do to Sodom and Gomorrah? He rained fire and brimstone. He destroyed the place. In the book of Kings, it said it pleased God when King Asa removed the Sodomites. It pleased him. God is not happy with the Sodomites, but he's willing to forgive them if they're willing to repent the homosexuals. He can set them free, just like God can set free a liar, a thief. God can set you free, even if you had an abortion. Jesus Christ can forgive you of all your sins. Turn to him and be set free. Have the love of God in you. But when you keep in sin, you have a hatred toward God. When you continue to live for sin, you're not loving God. How can you love God if you're getting drunk? How can you love God if you're smoking pot, the wacky tobacco? How can you love God? How can you love God if you're living as a fornicator, a homosexual? How can you love God if you walk around your body all exposed out, hanging out? That's not modest. How can you love God dressed like that? You need to repent and turn to Jesus Christ to set you free. Only Jesus can save your soul from hell. He can set you free as he set me free of my sins. Jesus Christ can save your soul from hellfire. You can have life today through the King of Kings, Lords of Lords, Christ Jesus the Messiah, suffered on the cross for you and me to set you free, that you can have life. Oh, 
my prayers that you repent and come to Christ. I'd like to get firemen to warn you. There's a hellfire behind me. There's hell. I'm a fireman that loves you to tell you, turn back around and come to Jesus Christ to the wells of living water. If you go around me, behind me, under me, hell awaits you. I don't want that for you. I want you to repent and come to Jesus Christ. Come to God. None of us can uphold God's law. Not one of us can uphold God's law. Lying, stealing, cheating on your test in school, disobeying mom and dad. None of us obey God. None of us seek God. You need to repent and put your faith in Jesus. Then you can start to seek God. Then you can start to worship God. Then you can start to praise God. You can't praise God if you're living in sin. How can you praise God? How can you praise God if you look at porno? How can you praise God if all you do is sit in front of the TV? How can you praise God if all you do is spend every second of your life at work? How can you praise God if you're getting drunk or high? How are you praising God you're hating God? But the thing is you can start to love God if you humble yourself. Repent and wave the white flag and say, God, I give up, I surrender. And I want to give my life to Jesus Christ. And you can be saved today. Stop playing suicide with yourself, with your soul. You're playing Russian roulette with your soul. Stop playing Russian roulette. It's like you're putting a gun to your head. Your soul is so valuable. Stop playing games with your soul. Stop playing games and wake up and be ashamed of your sin. And turn to Jesus Christ who can set you free of your sin. Turn. Turn to God in the Bible. Stop turning this place into Mardi Gras. What's next? We're going to have homosexual prayers down the street. What's next? What's next? We're going to have sodomite prayers. You need to repent and turn to Jesus Christ. Turn to the love of God. Oh, Jesus can save you free. Everybody wants to come. Come praise God. Oh, everybody get excited about those engines driving, huh? Did you get excited about God? Oh, can you get excited about reading something in the Bible today? Maybe you need to read something in the Bible to wake you up, snap you out of it. God is aiming at the wicked every day continually. Psalm 711. God hates the workers of iniquity. So I advise you to wake up and get right with God. Become a friend of God, not an enemy of God. When you continue to live in sin, you become an enemy of God. But if you repent, you can become a child of God today. You can become a child of God. If you want to surrender and put your faith in open Jesus Christ, you can have life. Turn. Turn to Jesus. Cry out to God with 911 calling, God, I give up. Oh, cry out to God. Say, God, I give up. I surrender. Lord, help me. Cry out to Him. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ and have life. Jesus, I don't know. Like you Stop acting like we're all tough and we're all strong. Your might and strength can't save you. Your good looks can't save you. Your master's and doctor's degrees can't save you. Only the blood of Jesus Christ can set your soul free from hell. Turn to Jesus be saved. Oh, turn. Turn to the love of God. I don't want you to perish in hellfire. That's why I cry out to you. That's why I plead with you. Turn to Jesus to set you free and change your life. Stop living like the world. Stop living like the world. People worship Britney Spears. She can't even take care of her kids, but we worship her. People worship Mike Tyson goes around biting people's ears off. That's what I'm <laughs> thankful for. Come on. You should be ashamed of your sin. You should be ashamed of your lying, your stealing. You should be ashamed of cheating on your taxes. You should be ashamed for being a lawbreaker of God. And turn to Jesus Christ and be set free. Jesus can change your soul. He can set you free. I'm like a roadblock. Stop going around me. Stop going under me and jumping over me. I'm here to warn you to repent and turn to Jesus who can set you free. I don't want you to die in your sins. That's why I come here and I love you. I got the love of God in me to tell you the truth. To repent and put your faith and hope in Jesus Christ and be free.